Hello, precious people of the universe. <laughs> and are you precious people? Of planet Earth. <laughs> yes, of the entire planet. <laughs> Hi, guys. What's going How are you guys doing? How are you guys feeling? I'm sure. I'm good. I'm, sure. I'm good. I had a very chilled weekend. Okay. Yeah. I had such an amazing weekend. Okay. All right. I've been having a good weekend. <laughs> okay. I'm loving it. I love it as well. Happy New Month, folks. I just have to say this. August yes, yes, is yes, a yes, very yes. beautiful month. Yes. And, you know, yeah. it's going to be amazing for all of us. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. So we have a lot to talk about. We are celebrating our very own i just gonna say, i'm just gonna say this you know n- right now nigerian women in different fields are yeah. making us proud i agree Absolutely. we're going to talk about what they're doing when we come back from this short break don't go anywhere stay with us i used to care for the world's opinion Next. i used to fear their rejection i used to beg for validation and i used to wait to be seen But the fire that burned in me was hotter. And the passion that lived in me had a voice of its own. So I stopped waiting and started to act. I stopped fearing and started to live. And when they thought I'd fail, I stepped into my power. Because my power is now. Amstel Mortar, be your best. Fuse Unbothered. This is Fuse Unbothered brought to you by Upfront and Personal. The entire gang is here. That's right. We are ready to talk about what we came here. To so talk about. always. Let us, what, how do they say it? Let us come into the room to start what we came into the room to, to do. do. <laughs> Let us start what we came Thank into the room. Thank you. That's right. That's yes. Right. So we're going to start off with congratulatory messages. And first of all, we're going to be congratulating Rafia Tula Wow, mm. who in the 2022 Commonwealth Games, you know, was currently going ooh, on in ooh, Birmingham, ooh, 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 won ooh, the ooh. second goal for Nigeria. That's yeah, right. And broke three games record. <laughs> I mean, this is absolutely amazing. I mean, she wasn't the first to win gold. We mm-hmm. had um, Nigerian also a weight lifter, Adidas yeah. Olari Noye, who won the country's first gold medal That's right. in this event at the 55 kg category. Mm. She also, you know, won an entire set a new games record hmm. in the process of doing this. You know, I saw I saw the video, mm-hmm. all right, and when I saw those women's biceps, hmm. I felt like, hey, don't challenge this. <laughs> <laughs> Let me also add the ages of these winners. One is 23 25. years old. Yeah, and the and then, yes, Rafael is 25, 25 years old. That's, that's actually... Young women doing absolutely amazing. Yeah, we're achieving. July was such an amazing year for women, I must say. Yeah, I mean, we had Thames as well, making us proud. Making us proud in music. Yeah. We had Toby as well. Toby and now... Uh, yes, then yeah. also uh, the footballer, as she said... Uh, Oshoala, yeah. uh, one of the best female African footballer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a big deal, you know. And uh, I mean, kudos to all the women making Nigeria proud and making us proud yeah. and making us yep. know that the women can actually do it better, not even as You know what, what amazes me is the fact that these people are young. Mm. That's what's even more interesting. These are young African women, you know, yeah. right. young Nigerian women. Yeah. yeah. And mm. I could never be more proud, honestly. Yeah, I was just like, sports. Yeah. Sports. I yes. mean, because I feel like, think the meal? I feel like most of the time, Nigerians are usually um you know just expecting all the glory to come from football yeah mm-hmm. you understand and but now we're now diversifying and you know we yeah, our first gold what medal two gold com- medals from weightlifting, from weightlifting. Yeah. Ah. weightlifting. women category <laughs> oh, honestly <laughs> man but i'm also going to say that we also had a male wet, um, weightlifter going by the name eddie diongo moafia who also won a bronze medal on the men's 67 mm. you know kilogram category mm-hmm. yeah so big congratulations all the winners congratulations this is absolutely amazing news and yeah. uh, we're starting off August in a very good way. That's, what that's right. That's so. right. <laughs> this is a good way to start the new month. <laughs> Motina, share happiness. Feels unbothered. Okay, guys. So still on the insecurity in Nigeria, you would agree with me that it has gotten to its peak. I mean, mm. it's something we talk about every day. Like that's like you open social media and that's the it's first thing you of see. The day, yeah. And quite unfortunately, it has now gone beyond the human thinking. If I put it that way, two actors have been kidnapped recently. We have. Cynthia Okereke and Clem Sin Cornell, two very yeah. prominent actors. Like these actors are veteran actors. Yeah. They've been kidnapped. And the interesting part of not is not interesting part, but the sad part about it is the ridiculous amount Amounts the that kidnappers are asking for. A hundred thousand US dollars. Do they know the rate of, of dollar US tonight? Dollar? They don't, I don't, I don't they, think they are aware. They have increased where their you, business. Please, where do you want us to get that kind of? Why am I saying we? But I mean, Nigerians no, but like, really help. Where do you want to get that kind of money from? 
in mm. this present economy. So I'm Hilda Dokubo, veteran act, actor, has also come out to express her disappointment. I mean, she, according to her, she feels like um, a lot of people have this. Um, what's it called notion about actors about how much they earn because they flaunt cars they're building houses mm -hmm. and you feel like these people have money so she's mm -hmm. come out to tell them that if you if you have to pay an actor for a shoot mm -hmm. it's probably not what they think yeah it's not what they think she, or what an average person earns she was trying to explain the fact that showbiz is really not what people think yeah as, I mean as much as they are actors and they're making money and they portray to live a very flamboyant lifestyle yeah. mm -hmm. on this I mean, on the act, you get mm -hmm. me, like when they're acting movies and stuff like that. So she, she was. I mean, I understood where she was coming from because I mean, that means it's getting to their industry because that's it not, is, they're is. not the first yeah. actors to be kidnapped of late. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? And it's really heartbreaking that that's such a ridiculous amount. I know. I believe eventually, if they don't get released without paying the ransom, mm. that they will still have to negotiate because a hundred thousand dollars is. <laughs> and I feel like they mean business so because it's just 24 hours after they were kidnapped mm. so the price came and they actually contacted their family members That's like so i mean in the past we've seen a lot of times where um actors in nigeria have come out and said you know um this particular business you know of making of of acting on set doesn't really pay you know and this is this is funny because actors guild of nigeria has said we can't set aside that amount of money to Ridiculous pay to pay money. that so ransom much. So it just leaves me wondering what's going to eventually happen I, because my, one of my concerns right now is the fact that these um, entertainers not just it's not just res restricted to actors alone, uh, but these entertainers when it comes to campaigning for these political leaders and all that to get into office. All right, is I don't know if they are really contacted or they just do it voluntarily. <laughs> voluntarily, okay. But I believe <laughs> I believe there's some level of mon monetary compensation Definitely. when they campaign for this of politician. Course. Why, why now, would they if you know, the politicians are accessible mm. when it comes to time for campaigning, why are they not accessible when it comes to this insecurity and them helping out? Because now we see a couple of actors and entertainers already campaigning for some ca um, presidential candidate, mm -hmm. governorship candidate, and stuff mm. like that. Now, when it comes to time of need, do they, do they do they turn up for them? Is the energy vice versa? So I think this is actually a good case to actually know if they would actually turn up. I mean, let's let's hope, let's hope. But that amount is what I'm just what? I'm just really scared for those in in captivity because like I don't I can't understand or imagine what would mm. be yeah what they're going, going through. Yeah. And these are, yeah, we, these we, are we young people, though. These are like mm. really elderly oh, people. Yeah, we don't know who who is responsible for this kidnap. Hmm. No, but no group, no terrorist <laughs> gang has come. I think it was somewhere in Enugu State, hmm. somewhere in Enugu State. So there's there's been a call saying that if you have to shoot, you shouldn't go out. Yeah, don't of go to your the outskirts zone. as much that, as like, possible. Proper security, yeah. Place, you know? And I think it's very important to put security for people who are yeah. going, you know, to do their jobs of this kind. Make sure that they are properly secure because yeah. we know that the state of the country right now, yeah. insecurity has been a major challenge for a very long time mm. and it's still a challenge even right now. Yeah. And so go inside mm. like they could do, they could be in the bush for like close to a week shooting and don't forget that, that so this is old really, Nollywood so most of the plots are usually yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. the sets outskirts. that they need yeah, yeah. Has to be like outskirts of mm. like the um, city alright guys we'll be right back after the short break there's still more tea for you on Fees on Butter stay with us I used to care for the world's opinion Next. I used to fear their rejection I used to beg for validation and I used to wait to be seen. But the fire that burned in me was hotter and the passion that lived in me had a voice of its own. So I stopped waiting and started to act. I stopped fearing and started to live. And when they thought I'd fail, I stepped into my power. Because my power now. I'm still Malta. Be your best. <laughs> Maltina. Share happiness. Fuse unbothered. All right, guys. This is Steve Fuse unbothered. Before we went on the break, we are talking about insecurity. Now, let's move away from that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now, everybody on this... I, I saw a chart, all right, of the inflation uh, of, you know, the dollar between the last three CBN governors. I'm talking about uh, Soludo, 
Sanusi Lamido and now Gogun Emi Fili mm. and I saw the ch- I don't just want to even let me not just even just go and say anything about that one <laughs> but this is where I'm driving at the inflation is definitely hot it's choking right now because like every Nigerian is going through it I don't know have you bought a bag of pure water recently I think we should talk about things like bread uh, <laughs> bread is what bread. you eat every morning <laughs> guys this is what you eat every morning there's this, so eat there's you, this know, you know when they say when you want to pray or something you talk about your daily bread or you want to go outside your daily <laughs> bread dear, that daily bread now dear, don't cost to hmm. that's all I'm going to say <laughs> and, and the, the, the fact is everybody now you know one thing about Nigeria is the fact that you think that oh, once you have money you're going to enjoy Nigeria you're going to enjoy Africa but right now I think it has deteriorated to the extent that regardless of how much you have you're still going to get on the road you're still going to buy yeah. food mm-hmm. so you're experiencing the inflation mm-hmm. you're experiencing mm-hmm. the, the currency um, degrade and mm-hmm. all that now this is where I'm driving at recently um, Skip Maker and Content Creator um, macaroni, Debo Macaroni, put out uh, a statement saying that in this current inflation state, that if you ask me for giveaway, that means you're after my life. <laughs> what is right now? <laughs> and, I mean, as much as it sounds very mm. hilarious and, you know, it's just coming from a place of comic relief and all that, there's actually some truth in that. You yeah. get me? Because, like, yeah. Check this out. Last year, how you know you know how artists and celebrities and entertainers were always doing giveaways. Mm-hmm. My dear, I have not seen. No, I've not seen any giveaways this, this year. I mean, <laughs> artists have been dropping albums and projects this year so mm. far, and I've not. Hello, <laughs> what's going on? Here? I know, I know. Tenny, Tenny, the entertainer did mm. one recently. She gave her a couple of laptops, but nobody has done any. Okay, exactly. Like I mean, I don't know if you guys have dreams where you eat and reject food in dream. Yeah, Nowadays, we don't see the food anymore. <laughs> no, before I used to see like fried rice, chicken. I you know it's like buffet before yeah. you drink. Now, but, what do you see now? Ah, <laughs> right now, you first up now, you have to first trek <laughs> to where you In get the dream. food. <laughs> when you not get Man. the food again, you'll not be seeing rice and beans. No meat. You eat. No meat. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say to you. What? But you I mean, know. we just pray mm, and yeah. we hope that everything gets better, right? I mean, it's, it's, it's only one way it can get better. Mm. You know the way I mean? Okay, okay, no, it's not everybody. Oh, the PVC is over. Yeah, it is. All of us here have our PVC. So, Please, I hope you PVC have registration. Yours. Yes, we've done Re- the registration. No, I have mine. Oh, I know okay. you guys have, have done well. your okay. yeah. registration. Okay. It's just for you to get the PVC. Yeah. So, now that you have the PVC, that's one step out of how many steps? Three, Three steps, steps, actually. Second so, one. The second one is to go in go out. out. Vote. Yes. To vote Voting for the, for the right person. Right person. Mm. And the third step i love this research the third step which is the most important step is to protect your vote and i think one of these days we're actually going to enlighten the public on what it means to protect your vote it doesn't mean that you carry stone or knife or cutlass or sh- no nah. there are better ways they're more diplomatic ways. they're more educated and rational ways mm. of protecting your vote but I, I believe that's the much we can take today on future yeah. i'm just also going to say that you know put the country in your prayers you know let's mm. pray for a free and fair election mm-hmm. one that is void of you know all kinds of unnecessary challenges mm-hmm, that we yeah. don't need at this point to be honest yeah so that's pretty much everything you guys you know talk about the three-step process and we are excited to round up this particular episode that's right. so the continue world. the conversation follow us on our youtube channel and subscribe to our youtube at the fuse find us on instagram at fuse local the name is gabby gabby and you find me on instagram at Gabby dot Gabby. You can find me on all <laughs> social media platforms at underscore Madichi. It's your man ABA case. You know how we do it. You can find me at A B underscore A K Y and Z, guys. This is where we call it a wrap today. Stay fierce. Stay fierce, guys. Holla. Upfront and personal, world class business, world class consultants.